Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, so today what I want to do is, in the last video, I think we found the transformer we want, and everything looks good, the THD looks good, so I think this Class D amp is going to make it into a box. We're gonna make a project out of it and finish this thing up here. What I want to do today is look at the phase gain on the GWN stack. I want to look at the body plot of the phase and gain and usually that's done at one watt and we just you know and and by the way on other amplifiers that I've looked at other power levels I haven't really seen that bandwidth really change so I think one watt is kind of where it's done so that's what we're going to do so let's bring the camera over look at the scope and sweep this thing all right guys I'm going to go over the setup real quick channel two is the input voltage it's a scope probe times 10x and on this channel we have the Mixig DP10013 differential probe okay and links are below for these differential probes and okay then we have the GWN stack scope and we're going to put a signal on so that we'll get about now oh, about one watt out just for this bandwidth thing okay that, that's usually where they're specified so uh, let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is this scope has this applications thing where you can go here and it's called a FRA, Frequency Response Analysis, Boldy Plot. So I'm going to select that. Yes, I want to do that. And there we go. So that signal that I have going right now, it's a 20 hertz. You can see a slight phase shift. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. And here, let me show you this setup. Inputs channel two, output channel one. So here's the reference circuit. Here, let's go back. So the gain is gonna be output divided by input. So our differential probe divided by our scope probe. And let's see, this guy here is set for 30. So we can set anywhere down from 10 to 90. Let's just go to, I think 15 is plenty. Usually even 10 is good enough, but we'll just go to 15 so it doesn't take too long. And because when we hook it up to the amplifier, it's going to be loud. One watt is loud. Okay. The generator, it's going to go from 20 hertz. That's as low as I could go. And it's going to go to uh, 200 kilohertz. So we're going to go well past because I want to see where this class D operates. It's going to be 140 millivolts. An amplitude and it says low impedance that's not really too important right now but anyway okay we're gonna get out of that as part of the setup this lead right here is coming from the oscillator one output back here and it's going to our input so I'm not using the uh, unity generator for this I'm using this this guy's gonna sweep the frequency and it is going to plot the body plot all right so we're gonna get so this guy will uh, sweep the frequency and plot the uh, gain and the phase as it goes. So here, let's go ahead and start to run. And if we see any jaggedness, that's when we know we'll choose more points. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. Now it's calibrating, and it's gonna automatically adjust the vertical and horizontal scale as it goes along. All right, so here we go. Um, it's starting off right around 35 dB, which is, I think, what the spec calls for. 35, 36 dB, I'll have to look. But it uh, looks pretty flat. The phase is right up here. It's below 24 uh, degrees. And then it drops down. It's staying pretty flat. Here's 10K. There's 20K. Okay. There we go. So, you know what? So, all the way out to 20K right there. It looked pretty flat. Now let me turn off the oscillator. Okay, uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, the gain is looking really flat. It looks like it's about 5 dB per decade. All right, we're going to go to analyze, guys, and I'm going to set this guy up. So there's 7 dB there. I'm going to put 5 dB there, I think. So we'll have 5 dBs per. There's scale, 5 dBs per up here. Let's move this up so we're on nice even grids. There we go. There's 5 dB. And there's 35, so it's just above 36 dB. Whoops, we're off the grid. Sorry. I'll drop it down to 10 dB. 
Okay, there we go. Now we can see, and it kind of goes up about, you know, 60 B, and then comes down. And this is out, that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's 65 kilohertz, probably, where that peaks off. And then phase kind of, uh, now at the phase, because it's hit 180, instead of writing it down like this, it starts up here and starts writing again. But what's nice is the phase and the gain, all the way out to 20K, pretty flat here. Let's get the phase on an even scale too. We could probably get uh, that right on zero. Okay, there's zero right across here. So look how flat that is through zero. Okay, right around, that's 20 hertz. Right around, I don't know, 30, 40 hertz, it hits zero, stays at zero, all the way out to 10K, and the drift drops slightly, and it's uh, 60 degrees per division. You know, uh, that looks pretty good. I, here, I can pull up some cursors. Okay, okay, right over here, I got cursor one here. We got 35.3 dBs, and look at that. It's, it's 30, okay. It's 35.3 dBs right here, and as I scroll across, right through here we start to increase. So right there we've, you know, we're out at 30, we're out about 28 kilohertz, and we've increased 1 dB. That's pretty darn flat. So we could put these over here, and we can get, the, cursor number two to go right at 20k well close to it uh, 22k and you know the delta we've changed about 0.76 dBs and about 45 degrees that's because we started off a little high here here let's scroll across there and see right about here that's 20 30 40 Hertz and we've changed about 10 degrees at that point so out here at 100 Hertz we've changed about 17 degrees and then we then down to 20 K 22 K we've dropped another seven uh, degrees so again I think that's pretty flat that looks pretty good now you know what I'm going to show you something we're gonna put it the load into a speaker and we're going to see how that changes, okay? All right, so here, let's go back. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and run it. Right now, you can hear 20 hertz or whatever. It is wobbling my speakers at one watt. You'll hear it click. It'll change frequency, and then it'll take a measurement, and then do it again. All right, uh, now if you've seen these videos before that I've done, you, you can monitor the frequency, the input and output, as it automatically adjusts them up here. I forgot to point that out. It, yeah, that was loud, guys. I had my fingers in my ears. Um, but look at that. That bump has changed from about 10K on when that filter, uh, the roll-off filter kicked in with the inductance of the speaker, or the impedance of the speaker, I should say. It really changed the characteristics, but it actually kind of made it a little bit, you know, overall it made it flatter all the way out to, you know, 60 kilohertz, right? And then look at the phase. Now the phase, it looks worse. It looks like it's moving more, but that's because the scale's different. We're only 9 degrees per grid over here. So, uh, here, let's get the cursors up. Okay, that's cursor 2. And right there, you can see we're at minus 35 degrees. Uh, the delta is 56. So here, let's move them over here. And uh, cursor one, we're started off at 21 degrees, right there. So they're equal. And then as we move along, 
you can see that uh, the greens are kind of dropping and then right about right right through here is down to zero degrees so again right about 100 hertz so the input filter has a roll off that kind of stops you know so it's really flat from 100 hertz to say 10k hertz and then right through here it starts dropping again and phase now we're down minus 10 and we're minus 21 and at 22k or whatever we're about minus 35 degrees so yeah it is you know I mean that that's not looking too bad at all and the gain looks a lot flatter too right so the gain has changed 2.2 dBs all the way through there even though it's kind of dropped here So you can imagine every speaker is going to change it slightly through here, but that's a pretty high frequencies. All right, so it looks pretty good. I was expecting or I was hoping that it stay within a couple dB across the bandwidth, and it looks like it does, and the phase looks good too. I like it when the bandwidth goes well past 20 kilohertz because even though if the gain can brick wall and fall off, say it, 30 kilohertz the phase always shifts sooner and so I like it when the phase kind of stays kind of flat too so when you go out to you know close to 100k then you can get keep the phase and gain both pretty flat through that frequency band before you know the filter starts affecting the phase or the gain and often the gain is what's focused on but the phase is shifting too and I just I just didn't want that to happen and it looks like this uh, amp is doing great it looks like it's doing what I want so uh, all right next video we're gonna have I think both channels hooked up we're gonna check the full power on both channels and check dynamic power that kind of thing we're gonna do some power testing and we'll finish up uh, listening to some music seeing what it sounds like all right Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Hope that helped. And thanks to Patreons for all the support and for everybody watching the videos. Uh, thank you for comments and all that kind of stuff. Uh, give a thumbs up. That helps the video analytics. And if you want to become a Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, you can do that too. And all the links are down below for the equipment that I'm using. And if I'm missing any links, let me know. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.